Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a system so the enemy can see the player. I'm going to show you how it is. See in the bottom and the output. See, can't see you. If I go in front of it, I can see you. It also works if I go behind walls. Can't see you. Very nice. Okay, code. So I have just a simple script here. That uh, gets the player and the NPC, which is this, this direction, forward. I'll go here, I make export variables, the NPC and the player and the view range, make it into a float. Then uh, this is process, make a function so it can see you. I have two functions, going to be one that's checking the direction and one if they are being blocked by a wall. So we like this wall. So let's see, let's first create this function. I'm going to get the direction from the player and NPC, get it normalized. Then get the forward vector from the NPC so we can get the forward direction. And then we can dot product the direction and the forward direction to get a value between uh, 1 and minus 1. And if it's 1, I think it means that we can see you. And we also make sure it's like above a value so that way it can be like a FOV. And we have another function here that we check if it's not, if the uh, NPC can see the player directly. And if they can, then it can see you. And on this function, we're gonna get the world space, gonna create a ray from the, from the NPC to the player, and uh, it will constantly check if it's, you can see it. And then it will create a one position, two position, and then we got to create a quarry, one and two. Make sure this is one and add self here, so we don't collide with each other, with itself. And then we have the result, the intersect ray, quarry. And then we check if the collision is player. So to do that, we have to make sure we have a class name called player here. And we return true if it's player, else false and false again, if it's not colliding with anything. And then we can just do here and then check again. So like that. Obviously this works as long as, just got to make sure that the forward direction is this way. So that's how it is in GoDot, the forward direction is always negative, see? So you can just swap around and rotate it and then this forward direction is being swapped around to this side. This is good for like detecting uh, the player for the enemies. So you can create like a chase scene for the enemy. And that's it.